So as we just saw, a fifth seed in the first round of the tournament, you have to be happy you get a bye. Yeah, we're excited. You know, that was kind of our goal was to get a, a first round bye, which is the top eight seed. So, um, you know, we thought, we thought we'd kind of be in that four or five range and a, a fifth seed's right where we want to be. Um, we got a good, we got a good draw. We like our bracket. Um, the only, the only down downside is Salt Lake's on the same side. So there's a, there's a chance that if we're all, if we're both winning, that we play them. But rather than that, I think we, we got a good draw. All right. So as you just saw on Twitter, the teams are set. Next on the road to Hutch, we'll see you at Spokane International Airport. The Cardinals begin their trip on the road to Hutch early in the morning on Saturday at Spokane International Airport for a 6 a.m. flight. That means that the Cardinals had to be at the airport an hour and 15 minutes prior. So at 4.45, the Cardinals start filing in to Spokane International Airport for the trip to Hutchinson, Kansas. One thing that the Cardinals are well aware of, their 30-0 and perfect record in the Scenic West Athletic Conference means absolutely nothing at the National Championships in Hutchinson, Kansas. The Cardinals last there 19 years ago in 1997. That team finished fourth. Cardinals were lucky that they got to the airport an hour and 15 minutes prior to the flight because the line's getting through TSA screening extremely long and, of course, extremely slow. So we can finally say the road to Hutch wheels up. Let's hope in one week we come back with a national championship. So we're in the air. What do you do for the next three hours? Well, you play a game called Boggle. Randy Boswell, athletic trainer. It's kind of like an electronic scrabble. You got three minutes, you put words together. Words like W-E-Q or D-O-Z. We'll work on that one. While Caleb and Adam are sawing logs, head coach Corey Simmons playing his favorite game, Candy Crush. How does he do? Well, it's, some say it's an addiction. Right from Salt Lake to Dallas went rather quickly, although we had to keep the windows closed because we were in the clouds most of the time and it was rather bright. But getting closer and closer to the landing, uh, not a bad sight. Lots of green uh, grass, lots of water, and looking forward to seeing the Big D. Of course, we knew we were in Dallas when we see the star on top of the building. That doesn't look like a Seahawk logo. On our way to get our bags, are we supposed to go through that door? I'm not quite sure. We get our bags and then on a shuttle to get our rental cars. What up, Shen? What up? Are you recording? Yep. What up? <laughs> here in Dallas, you know what I'm saying? About to head up this water burger. And that cane. Oh, he's riding it, go to Rhode Island. Oh, 
I know that. Jose Saquon. That is true. Hey, you guys here. Say Tobin on the beat. Tobin was not. Is that him? So here's the question of the trip. What is that thing? Little raisin cane with the boys. Raising cane. Nothing like it. What's good, man? Hey, you do the camera right now? Yeah, you know? <laughs> what's going on, man? This is BJ Takeover. You know what I'm saying? We're here at Kane's. You know what I'm saying? Sammy, what's good, man? Sammy, what you ordering, man? Uh, you know, the Kane's in combo. <laughs> what's up, Scotty? You know what I'm saying? Ziggy in his thigh. What's up, Tony? What's good? What's up, guys? Why you look mad, dog? There you go. I see his smile. <laughs> Dirty. Dolly. <laughs> Woody, what's going on, Woody? What's up, Adam? Yeah, we got Marcus over here. Look at Dylan in the cut. What's up, Dylan? How you doing, man? How you living, man? This is special on you. <laughs> we got King over here. What's up, King? What's up, Caleb? You know, the only Caleb. <laughs> what's up, Mike? Hey, right, you knew I was coming, Mike. I got warned. Sammy, what's up, Sam? What up, what up? You know what I'm saying? About to get this food in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> G, G making business calls. Up, hey, the best trainer in the world. What's up, Randy? Happy to be here. <laughs> The Cardinals were lucky enough to get a tour from assistant coach Bill Greer. You may remember the name, the former assistant coach at Gonzaga and the head coach at San Diego. The Gallagher IBA Arena is absolutely breathtaking. Close to 13,000 screaming fans are here when this place is a rockin'. And my favorite view of this facility is coming up. So he went on a plane with an architect, an engineer, an uh, interior designer, and we toured about 10 different locker rooms getting ideas, and they came back and built this. It's a two floor locker room. I don't know how many square feet. I don't know, Jared, do you have any idea how many square feet it is? No, sir. It's, it's got to be the biggest one in college basketball. I'm going to show you around the top part, which is more. The lounge in our film room, and I'll take you down to the locker room. Okay? Two floors. <laughs> <laughs> Two floors. Two floors. Yo. The locker rooms were full of words of wisdom. This is one of my favorites. This is our players' lounge. Uh, we eat a lot of team meals in here. We have a kitchen, obviously, they have access to. Uh, I don't know who the best pool player is, but they play a lot of pool. Uh, and here is our film room. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's sweet. The room's dead. Look at that, yeah, man. So this is where our players dress. Uh, we don't meet down here that often with them. We usually meet up in that film room we're in. If you go out this back door, and I'll take you out there in a sec, it goes to our weight room. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> 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 
And that view I promised you earlier? Check it out. I think I got a nosebleed. The sunshine and warm temperatures that we saw in Dallas, Texas, well, that's gone. We're in Wichita, Kansas, home of the Shockers. The view from the top of the Charles Koch Arena, not quite as scary as what we saw in Stillwater, but still pretty cool. After an 18-hour day yesterday, which included a stop at practice at Oklahoma State University, the Cardinals are up bright and early this morning for day number two of the trip to Hutch. Today, we're at Wichita State University, home of the Shockers at the Charles Koch Arena, which holds 10,000 500 folks. We'll be back with more right after this word from our sponsors, the American Credit Union and Parker Toyota. Thank you for taking me out. This place is beautiful. It's nice to get away. It's lovely. It is lovely. Ding, ding, ding. Oh. Surprise! My <laughs> girl's here! This place <laughs> is nice. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, that's fine. What Honey, what's fine? We know what gets on your nerves. That's why Numerica makes it easy for members to make the most of their money with lower interest rates on loans, higher rates on deposits, and zero hidden fees. Numerica. Life moves. Live well. Oh. Hi, Jim and Sonny here. We have the all-new 2016 Tacoma truck. It's more than just chiseled body lines. This Tacoma is ready to rock. Whether it's taking a challenging off-road adventure or you need performance and towing for work, it's stronger and lighter with a 278 horsepower V6. If all this makes your tail wag, learn more with a test drive at your locally owned Parker Toyota in Coeur d'Alene. All right, 
Trey Birch Manning, and we're at Wichita State University yesterday. We were at Oklahoma State. Talk about those facilities and how cool that was. Uh, it was pretty cool just going there, seeing like big D1 program like uh, Oklahoma State. They're in Big 12, so it's a big gym, way different from, uh, from what I've seen. It's almost on like some uh, NBA level type stuff. All right, so talk a little bit about the trip, the road to Hutch, what we call the program. Your thoughts as you get closer and closer to that day. A lot of guys are saying, man, I just want to get ready to play. Yeah, you know, uh, pretty antsy to play. Excited, you know, first time I've been in a tournament this big. Um, I guess it's similar to AAU, but uh, just excited to play. Just, you know, especially happy to be here after a hard hard work uh, this season. So, already pumped up with play. All right, how much uh, after that setback of the recent 18 tournament has put the fire back into you guys to get back right? You know, as much as we wanted to win, go on the field, whatever, it's uh, kind of been a blessing in disguise, I think, for us to lose. So we can uh, get refocused and uh, concentrate so we can understand the tournament. All right, on the all-conference team, if you have my vote, he's the sixth man in the senior class. Craig Rickman, appreciate it. Thank you, Dick. It's been said that defense wins championships. Well, today's shoot-around at Wichita State definitely proved that as the Cardinals worked hard on their defense. The man keeps these players in tip-top shape, lead trainer Randy Boswell. The only guy on this entire Cardinal team, and I believe maybe the entire athletic staff, has been the Hutch before. What do you remember back in 1997? What an experience. I mean, the team was great. Uh, I see a lot of similarities in this team. You know, we're not real tall, we're fast, we're athletic, we can jump, and we can shoot the ball. What do you remember as the, as the uh, trip to Hutch, or the road to Hutch is what we're calling the program? Back then, now, did you have to bus last time? Did you go on a plane, or how was that? You know, we flew in and, and just had a short uh, short bus ride, but uh, we had some support. You know, the president came and some DPs and some cheerleaders, and uh, what an experience, I mean, to get to the show. All right, get to the show, and that's where we are. As far as your responsibilities, I mean, uh, you're obviously taping angles and that type of thing, but uh, what do you see as your best or biggest responsibility? I'm probably the biggest cheerleader that they have. You know, I love North Idaho College. I love this team. And again, a chance to get back here finally after all these years. Uh, I'm hoping that I can create some, you know, motivation for those guys just being on the side. All right, now I got to maybe, could we practice the, the uh, over the years have you practiced it because it's been since 1997 that you've been to hut any uh hutch leads from uh, or practice for randy bonfell here today you know i make sure i stretch out pretty well i don't want to pull anything but uh I, like i said I, i'm a cheerleader so you're, you're going to see the fist pump and and uh yeah i might get a little air yeah the key word there is a little it's the guy that makes everybody healthy on the nic cardinal uh, training staff head trainer randy boswell man it's a pleasure it's been fun, and uh, I hope they're ready to play. All right, the road to Hutch. Right around the corner. Good practice, Good practice. Let's, let's, uh, let's just, everybody take a deep breath, relax, focus, and just do us. Just do us. Hey, guess what? Us got us a 30 and out. You and us got us a 31 and 1. Okay? We don't need to press. We don't need to stretch. We just need to play NIC basketball. And I see basketball, the rest of them take care of itself. Yes, and what's NIC basketball? Play, play together, play hard, and having fun. Having fun. Talking to the Booster Club at our last Booster Club, that's, that's the biggest thing here. We don't need to come out here and do anything special. We need to come out here and have fun. If we come out here and have fun and play together, win, win ourselves and have some fun. Okay? We got as good a chance as any, but we just can't be our, we can't be our biggest enemy. Okay? We got to take care of things, work, have a good time. Okay, we're gonna go back to the hotel. Uh, you guys can shower up. Um, and then we're gonna get in cars and drive up the, the huts and check into our hotel. We're back in this gym. Listen, I don't want anybody complaining. We're back in this gym tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. So they can leave our hotel at like quarter to seven, if not if seven, if not a quarter to seven. Okay? And then we have the whole day to work. The whole day just to relax. Okay? Good work. Hey, family on three, one, two, three. Today is the final day of practice on the road to Hutch. Today, once again, the Cardinals are at Wichita State University in the practice gym, getting some final shots up bright and early, 7.30 in the morning. The Cardinals getting set for their first action in Hutchinson, Kansas. Uh, I know uh, 
I know early morning practices aren't the best thing in the world. I hated them when I played, but um, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. If, if, if I would have uh, we'd had the gym later, we would have been later, but sometimes we don't. Um, so what we're going to do, um, I want us to spend 15 minutes here getting a good stretch. That's our biggest thing right now is making sure we're healthy, taking care of our bodies. So I want to spend 10 or 15 minutes, get a good stretch in, then we circle up, partner stretch. Okay, make sure we take care of our bodies, get a good stretch in. We're going to walk through game plans um, for both Southwest Tennessee and Spartanburg Methodist. Um, we've been working on our SOS, and that's Southwest Tennessee game plan. Um, I want to speak a little bit on Spartanburg Methodist, because that game's going to be a good game tonight. We're going to go watch that tonight. Um, I've talked to a lot of people, I think it's going to be a good game. <coughs> so it's the opposite game plan. Spartanburg Methodist can shoot it, so we've got to get out. We've got to run them off the line, that type of stuff, we end up playing now. Okay, um, so we're going to walk through a couple of those things. We're going to get some shots up. Just want to get your body moving, get going. Okay, we'll be here about an hour. Maybe we should touch over now and get out of here. We got it? Sure. Okay, let's have a good one today. We got one more day, fellas. Let's start winning the game. Hey, if I'm in on three, one, two, three. Oh, three. Obviously, I know you guys are going to need a nap when you go back to the hotel. Um, we'll, we'll get you some food. You can take a little nap. Uh, I'd like for us to go to the 2 o'clock game. What, in Salt Lake? Salt Lake. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. I want us to go to the team. The 2 o'clock game and the 4.30 game. The 4.30 game is the team we play. 2 o'clock game is Salt Lake. We're going right. to support the region. And, right after? Um, so the Salt Lake and, and, yeah, and the, Salt Lake and the and teams we play are after? Right after. Oh, yep. Cool. Okay, so That's cool. um, I know you go back to, back to the hotel room, get some, get, some, get a nap. But hey, fellas, let's, let's, let's be about business. Okay, let's be about business. We came down here for one reason, one reason only. Okay, and we're getting closer and closer. We're almost 24 hours away from game time. Okay, um, so on the way out of here, let's hurry up and wrap it up here. Um, Wichita State's practicing right now. He said we could pop in there and watch, but if you, if you guys want to pop in there and watch, you got to be quiet. You can't be talking, you can't be loud because they're getting out. Yeah, just sit okay. Um, he said he said we got to be quiet. Yeah. So if, if you want to pop in there, I'm gonna go watch for a minute. Hey, happy birthday, Hey, happy birthday, Jimmy. Hey, happy birthday to you. The Hutch ends at the Hutchinson Sports Arena. Let's go inside and check it out. <laughs> 